Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege View today and today we have a 3v3 uh, siege battle sent in by a member of the Discord and also a sub so if you haven't joined the Discord please do down below, it's in the link in the description and we have an excellent, it's a very close one so definitely worth checking out and sticking around till the end to see what happens so I'd just like to thank you all as well for all the support, we've hit 1400 uh, subs, let's keep it up and uh, go for 1500. I uh, appreciate all your likes, subscribes and comments, so keep it up guys. Um, anyway, the uh, battle has quickly started already and we have new Midian Riders already. A medium shock cab infantry, you've not seen this unit really been used before. Um, and there's some forcing new media to uh, turn his, not new media, um, Nabatea to turn his units around. Yeah, these guys are pretty uh, medium. I'd say they're almost light shock, to be honest. Um, we've also got some more of them over there. Um, but yeah, new mid. No, I'm gonna mix these two up. The new media, really, but uh, the the Nabatea, not Nabatea, um, Mesesli or whatever they're called, aren't they? And this is Nabatea. I'm gonna mix these up. Say new media and uh, Nabatea a lot. I'm gonna mix them up. I'm sure. So I do apologise. But look at this for an army. We have a Sabbath out here with a huge. Cavalry army, cavalry and camel army. This is by far one of the biggest sallies I've ever seen. This is disgusting. Look at all these camels. All these camels, and camels are really good at scaring cavalry. And um, they have an ability, like, they're just generally in this game are just very good at scaring, scaring cavalry. And the camel cataphracts. So I do feel sorry for Bowie I. He is going to have a rough time of it. Um, he's already lost some men here, I presume, to an artillery piece. But yeah, he's going to have a really hard time. Um, I'd almost defend this uh, little choke point here. He has actually lot or these like this settlement here um, But he's not actually brought any siege equipment. I just realized he hasn't got any siege equipment, so he's gonna have a really hard time um, But Rome we have Rome Nabate and Bowie I as I said we have uh, Egypt Masesli and Saba defending so this could be quite interesting um, Masesli doesn't have any archers. He has brought tribal slingers um, instead of like the he heavy uh, javis, which I usually bring if I play as them. I presume he's got a lot of uh, desert legionaries as well. I could be wrong. Um, Egypt, I imagine will have brought some pikes. And Rome's got his usual lot, sort of like, he's got lots of armored legionaries. No Praetorians in this army. We've got veteran legionaries. We've also got some uh, triarii out the back here. And we've got the uh, Syrian infantry, uh, Syrian archers, sorry. But I mean, they're having a really hard time. I think Rome's lost all his... Wow, Rome's lost all of his artillery. No, that's Nabatea. I think. Yeah, Nabatea's lost all of it. No, Nabatea's still got his. It was Rome. Rome has lost all of his artillery. That's a huge problem. I mean, the balance of power was ever so slightly in favor of uh, the attacks. But I think it's actually probably now ever so slightly in favor of the... Um, oh, no, even now, I'd say. I'd, uh, I'd say even. But yeah, look at this long line of cavalry that, or, and camels. That's going to be disgusting. Disgusting. Um, but, the defenders, all they have to do now is, I'd say, Bowie has to play defensive and just let Rome and uh, Nabatea get inside the walls because Saba, I'm pretty sure, only has one unit of infantry. So it's a 2v2, basically, inside the walls. And one of them is Rome. Um, so I have a feeling that that's, that could go quite well. But Nabatea, on the attack, I don't think does very well. We have a Numidian Noble Infantry actually up first. This will be good. Good to see them in action. Hold the line! They have, oh, their shields look excellent. That's silver. It's great. Um, yeah, Navitaeus is going to sub some infantry. I think these Noble Swords will probably... They're, very, they're heavy against very heavy. I think that the, the Swords will certainly probably be out, uh, come out worse in that fight. We've got Thorax Swords here. Throw off spears, we've got a lot of stuff. I mean, they're all also just the landing here. So this is not making it hard for the defenders where to defend. And they've got a lot more noble infantry. And we've got New Indian Light Infantry. I don't see any Legionnaires. Oh, here we go. Cohort, Desert Cohort here. He's bringing a very varied army. New Indian uh, Light Infantry. Yeah. Very, very varied. But here we go. The Legionaries are down. Are they going to go straight in? They looks like they might. In into Desert Cohort. Um... Rome's legionaries will beat Numidia's. So, uh, this should be an easy fight for them. N yeah, I don't think these Desert Co. will have any chance. But, I mean, these are... Oh, my gosh. This Noble Sword unit has lost half its unit to Javis. They just need to go in. The Thoros Spears are absolutely wrecking them. Like, you can just see them behind, like, the enemy lines there. 
Throwing the spears over. Devastating. That is devastating. That is... That's a unit lost. That's a huge problem. Losing decisively. They're not even in combat. They're, how can they lose decisively? But here we go. Okay, Numidi is going to send his... Cavin. Ah, oh, I see. He's going to go for the Syrians. He's going for the Syrians. And he's going to get them. He's going to get this one anyway. Rome's desperately trying to send Triarii in. Um, he's got some of the Syrians, but the Triarii is going to catch the cavalry. But he's not going to stop them on the other side. He's not done this. He's uh, gone right into their trap. Really well played by uh, Numidia here. And here we go. As he runs them down. And they're medium calves, so they're going to be really quick and moving around. That's really well done. Well played by uh, Masaisley here. And those uh, auxiliaries are already down about half strength. Actually, they're only at 90. Okay. Uh, so they, they lost about 20 men. These are smaller units than before. Ah, oh, we have some Praetorians here, though. We do have some Praetorians in the army. And here you go. Here's Sabah's only one unit of infantry. Desert Levy. Going to be sent up straight away. Um, yeah, Numidian nobles are losing decisively here, though, against legionaries. No surprise. They need to use as many Javis and stuff as possible. Egypt, I don't know where the rest of his army is. But Sabah is coming around. He's just... Fully surrounding them. He's got desert ar uh, camel archers. He's going to lose that. Actually, no. D mm, Celtic bowmen. He might win that fight. He might lose that fight. Oh, he's going to actually bring his bows down, his slingers down here, and he's going to fire into them. A bit risky since those camels, those royal camel archers, could probably run them down. His general is breaking. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. Oh no, it's not his general. Sorry. I thought it was his general. Wow. That unit's wavering, though. I thought it was his general. It was literally over the same unit. I was like, oh my gosh. But it's not. Here we go. Royal Camel Cat. Uh, what's the rest of the... Is he actually going to send his army outside? He is. He's actually going to commit to this. He might get a general kill here. Arabian Cavalry going in. And he's not realized this. Heavy Horse. Oh my gosh. He's not realized. And he's going to lose men for it. Um, I don't think they'll win this fight. Looking at the armor. You can see that the uh, Bowie Eyes Cavalry is a lot more armored up. But they're just going to charge in. They're, I mean, they got the shot. Charge, but they're not actually shock, uh, shock cavalry. Just send an infantry unit in. You could win that little fight there. Like, they're losing now. Yeah, that's a bit silly by Sabo. He didn't need to send his, infant his cavalry in there. We've got uh, the new Median riders out here. They're pretty beaten up now. Nabate and Rome look a bit shook. We've got Nabate is really struggling here, though. He's really struggling to break inside. And he's been flanked. What happened here? There's a hole in the line, probably from that unit of 49. It's just been absolutely flanked. That's going to be a problem for Rome now, because you can, they can flank all the way around this line. They're going to have to send more in. And send the archers up to support. But, um... They found a better line to defend as well. This is... The defender's looking really good so far. Looking really good. Interesting to see what the attackers do. I mean, Bowie I just needs to, uh... Quickly... Might need to actually quickly win against, uh... Saber somehow. I don't know how. He's not got any artillery. He's got artillery, but he's not got any siege equipment. So he's going to need to bring his army around here anyway. But they're going to need the extra army just to support. But yeah, this is not looking so good. Does it? I mean, like, look already those uh, armored legionnaires gone. Yeah, this flank's now very vulnerable. And what's this at the back here breaking? We've now got a giant ballista gun. I don't know if it was out of ammo. But they've left it. Oh dear. Numidian Riders. And they're getting some good kills here, those Numidian Riders. Saba is really committing his troops. I mean, he's wavering some uh, Celtic bows. He's going to lose his Arabian Cav, which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. They aren't the best. Um, he weakens their general ever so slightly. But really, there's not much he can do with Bowie. He needs to... Needs to get his archers and uh, artillery to really focus him down. Where's the general for Starbury? He's not dead, is he? No. I can't see him, though. He's disappeared. But yeah, they're focusing these guys down really nicely. I can't even see them. They're just firing up. Volley! Yes, and they, where are they going? They're just focusing down these archers up here, which are now breaking. Oh, poor guys. These aren't even archers. They're slingers. So they can't even fire back accurately. Bowie Eye's having a really rough time. Um, wow, look at this. Egypt's got so many in stuff in reserves over here. Oh my gosh. I mean, Rome is setting up Praetorians now. Got Karani and Axman. This is a pretty weak spot, actually. Three units of Karani and Axman. They could mince through them. 
But Rome, Rome's going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting with his infantry. Navate's going to need to put his pikes in here. And they've got to really hope that these guys run out of ammo early. Because they are firing everything and anything really quickly. Tribal Slingers now in a good angle here. That's a really good angle. Focusing down any Navateans that come up onto this, uh, this, into this area here. This is becoming a kill zone. Really is. And what we've got some uh, axe, maraud uh, axe warriors going in. You can tell by them having the only one of the best units that only have missile capability for Nabatea. Most of the others don't have it. Probably why it makes Nabatea a bit weaker and better on the defense. Because they don't have those javies. And most of their units can form shield wall. That's certainly one of the first mistakes, I think, bringing this faction. Uh, bring this faction. Though, the person that sent it in did play as them, so they must do okay. They must do okay. Triarii now holding this ground. It's not a bad idea. They could actually sneak past. Could these Romans a tiny little sneak past if they wanted to? It's not going to do much, but they could go after the uh, archers. It's such a huge blob going on here. I mean, it's actually a blob of mo mostly awful stuff. Mostly light infantry. There's levies in there. There's only one unit of Desert Core that's really going to hold that line. If the Chariot actually went in, they'd actually get a lot of kills here. Noble infantry, losing. Rome and uh, Nabatea just got to get their archers up really close to, start to the walls, fire over the walls. Because it looks like... Because it looks like... Certainly Masaisley has brought mainly Slingers, who are now in combat. I don't think they're meant to be, but they are. Um, and they're actually losing quite a few men. Oh, they're losing them to the Arch Tower. Nicely captured there by Nabatea. But, um... But yeah, if they can get their archers close, and they can do a lot of fire, like damage onto uh, onto the defenders without them being like getting any reciprocated. Basically, the general's back. He must have just disappeared. But yeah, it, it does look like they're having a really rough time. Veteran spears. They're only losing like a couple of men. I don't know why I go out here. Just defend this like area here. It's got a really good shield wall forming here. I mean, actually, this is really good by Saber as well because all he's doing is pinning down an army. Like, there's no way Bowie I can go out and attack this army. He's got no archers left. So Saber's done a really good job here. But, um... And I think Bowie is the only one that's brought cavalry. And I think his... Oh my gosh, I didn't even realise. Bowie Eye's general's dead. Oh my gosh, so they've lost all the cavalry as well. He lost his heavy horse and his general unit. Which I think was noble horse. So, that's huge. How did that happen? Did he just stand there and just die? Just take it? Where did he die? I don't even know. I can't even see where he might have died, possibly. Possibly here, I think. This looks like where he might have gone down. Yeah, I don't know. But that's that's a big issue now for the attackers. They've already lost one general. Like this unit here is getting focused down and it's not even looking the right way. Well, it can't. It's got... It's, there's no point in holding this choke point. Just look the right way. At this point, Bowie Eye is in a real sticky position. We've got Rome here. Uh, they like Rome and Nabatea have got to do as much damage quickly as possible uh, to force Sabah to send troops back or send Cav round to allow Bowie Eye to get out. Otherwise, Bowie Eye is just dead in the water. But it's so good, such a good tactic to see. Oh, we got artillery coming in, explosive round. Uh, I would recommend never use. Explosive round it just when it lands it explodes and that's it and it does a lot of HP damage. That's great But with normal or fire artery if you hit something and it then travels through the unit It'll kill more like I, they're t also taking out tribal slings It's a tiny unit to take out taking out this unit of desert cohort might be good this unit of Thoros spears Like if you hit this desert cohort or you miss it you're gonna hit the Thoros spears when it travels through with a normal or um, fire artillery. Also, normal artillery. It's much more accurate. Oh, here we go. He's using uh, fire artillery now. There we go. He's now focusing down here. Better target. Look at like look at this train of tribal slingers. Take all them out. You're looking amazing. Um, but Rome is slowly breaking through here. He's still got quite a lot of infantry reserves. I'm not sure how many uh, the defenders have lost just yet. I wouldn't say enough. I think they need to push them back sooner or later. This is a really easy place for the attackers to take as well. Um, it's a big choke point to hold. This one as well, big choke point. I mean, they've done the right job by holding here. You, most people like hold here. 
or here. And that's uh, better to hold there and keep that wall support. But the attackers could just send a unit up and get around on the walls and get around. Looks like whatever happened over here didn't end so well for the Romans. They lost an entire unit of Praetorians. Oh no, that's not good. The attack attackers are having a rough time to start with. I'm interested to see how this uh, how this goes down and becomes close. It's close description. But let's have a look at the fighting that's going on in here. We've got veteran legionnaires taking on some light infantry. That uh, can't go well for light infantry. Look at the comparison in armor. And these guys are also supposed to be veterans. Fighters of 100 battles. They are actually going to break through here. Oh, I thought this them wavering. No, it's just the Axe Warriors are uh, wavering. They are going to break through here, though. There's another unit ready. Noble Infantry. But, I mean, these Legionnaires. Yeah, they're going to need some support. These Veteran Legionnaires might need to go in. Navate is already looking a bit rough on troops. I mean, he's got his uh, Rakeem Palace Guard yet to go in. Has he got his Pikes in there yet? Oh, oh, I thought he had his Pikes in there. He's got more Rakeem Palace Guard in here. Where are his Pikes? Thorax Pikes here. Is he setting up one now? Yeah, he is. He's setting up a pike unit now. Interesting. I'll have to see whether the pike pikes uh, influence like the balance of power and like can kill enough troops. They can rack up to about a thousand kills, so it's very possible. And I'm not seeing any evidence of uh, well, Masasi can't bring any. Saba can't bring any pikes. So it's only Egypt, and I haven't seen any ev ev any evidence that they have. So that's. Pretty good sign for them. They brought a lot of Thorax and Koranians, interestingly. And Thorax Spears. Egypt's falling a lot back, surprisingly. Sa Saba's been charging in. Uh, and he's actually routing a lot of stuff. Veteran Spears. We've got Oswan in here now. Uh, it's probably a good time. If you use all your ammo up and you kill the general, definitely start charging in with your cavalry. These guys will be on low morale. This is interesting, though. Sword followers... They've routed a few. They've routed the spears, which is even more concerning for Bowie Eye. It's so close. I mean, the balance of power is saying slightly in favor of the attackers, but I'd say defenders have probably got this so far. They're holding them at all these choke points. The cavalry's basically nullified an entire army. This is the only choke point that's a bit of a concern. So, I mean, the defenders really do need to send something up, because that could really undo them. Oh, are they falling back? The defenders look like they're falling back. They're pulling back all their desert cohort. I don't know if they're just going to form a new line here. Quite possibly. They're using their artillery up. The attackers need to save some artillery. Um, I don't know. I, I presume it's Nabatea firing his artillery. He's also like got a terrible target. He also can't move. He's got to get these... Like, you can fire through all these tiny gaps here, I think. But better just not worrying about it and just letting the... Uh, Risk it with the artillery. It's not like Rome was very unlucky that he lost all of his, but likelihood is you will sort of keep one alive. But here we go, more stuff going in. Got Triarii going in now. Uh, spear unit on the offensive, not necessarily the greatest idea. They are probably best for just defending against like cav and choke points, but you got to do what you got to do. Put them in square formation as well, not necessarily the greatest idea. I mean, Mercedes charged in. He did charge in. Lie infantry again. And now what we've got coming up, more Thorax Swords. They're really interchanging their units, which is quite good. Freshens the units up. Oh, okay. So they've pushed through this choke point. It is the easiest to take, I think. Did help that they took this one and surrounded, but they lost so many men here. I look at the amount of men they lost at this choke point. That's a lot. I would say most of them as well are attackers, not defenders. Um, this one's a bit different. I'd say there's a lot more defenders in there. But still... Are we on to the next line of defense? No, we're not just quite yet. I like that Sabbath still got his one unit of levy here. Holding the line. Don't mind us. We've just got an army of cavalry just causing so much havoc. I'm sure, like, the attackers are so annoyed. Just like, what do you do with that? Like, I'm sure Bowie Eye as well was like, what am I supposed to do? But it looks like Rome's just going to take out these, uh, this levy. And there you go. It's wavering and gone. It's broken. So broken that it's not actually going to retreat. But they can just surround this uh, Nubian Light Infantry now. It's already losing. But they're already pushing through. The final... Uh, well, not pushing through, but like pushing on. 
Final uh, defense is here. Egypt's got a lot of stuff possibly in the wrong spot. He's got a lot of stuff over here. I mean, he can't flank around. He's got Galatian Road Guard. I did expect him to have some. Um, that's that's huge. I can't see it now. I can't see all the defenders now, but they've got Galatian Road Guard, which is a good unit. Hopefully, Rose have got Praetorians, so he can match them. Na Navitain Heavy Arch is going in. Rakeem Palace Guard in here. Oh! Poor guy just got chucked over and just killed. Um, again, these palace guard, not the greatest on the offensive. It's a spear unit. Nice forming of uh, Testudo here with uh, the veteran legionnaires. I'd have kept them like that. They were using a lot of their uh, Javi ammo up on that unit. Over here, what's Bowie Eye doing? Uh, just trying to stay alive, I I'm going to say. He's winning most of these fights against the cavalry. And then when the cavalry pulls out, he's in trouble. But there's still quite a lot left. Still quite a lot left. It's just how much damage can Saber do to uh, to Bowie, Bowie Eye before he possibly dies? Because I think I think Bowie Eye might have got enough. He's still got a spear unit here, which is slow, gonna just force him around. Is this, if his artillery still got ammo, that's huge as well. I presume it has. Like, there's no way this artillery's used its ammo up. Surely they're gonna knock a hole in the wall over here. And just storm through. He's also linked up. Okay, Rome's uh, over here and can capture this gate. And can allow Bowie Eye in. So that's huge. So that's really good. But Bowie Eye at the moment can't retreat. Because uh, he's been pinned down by cavalry. Are we going to see another charge here? Looks like it. No, no. These cataphracts. These, oh no, they're archers. Yeah, these guys are going in. Oh, into the side. That's a good flank charge. Oh, that is actually devastating. Look at that. You can see on the floor there so many of those uh, Bowie Eye troops there. I think that was Oathsworn as well. Oh, I do apologize. Just have a good look at uh, the cavalry there. You can have a look at this. Look, at, That's a better view. Yeah, that's Oathsworn down there, and they're dead. They're surely dead. We've got Carfrax coming in now. Oh, and then the Sword Follows. Sword Follows and Oathsworn look so similar. Oh, this is going to be nasty, though. Royal Marib Cavalry. They're actually pretty beaten up. It's just, you've got to put one unit in there and then counter charge with another. And slowly, Bowie Eye is running out of troops to counter charge with. Got Desert Cohort over here. Holding the line. Ever so sort, sort of. They're looking the wrong way, but holding the line. Very impressive. They're, they must be teaching them something very special in New Media. How to look the wrong way and still win a fight. Oh, this is devastating though. Got veteran legionnaires throwing javis into the side. Look at the amount of like javis in these guys' shields. How is that managed? They're literally side on. They should be getting so many more kills. Oh, he threw an imaginary javel javelin. Some of them are still throwing javis. Oh, they're going in and Axeman. Uh, okay. Yeah, another huge choke point being opened up here. Rome is going to have to dedicate most of his stuff here. We've got all the archers, though, for uh, the attackers up here. A really nice spot. You can't come up here, so uh, they'll have to come all. They'll have to break all the way through here and come up to get these archers, or just shoot them. Not hard to shoot them. We've got more Karani and Axemen. Not a bad target to take out with archers, but why waste the ammo? Here come the pikes, though. And this is going to be an issue. These swordsmen are not going to like this. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see whether these Sorax Pikes can break through. I'm saying the attackers now are really getting their stuff together. As soon as they got through that first choke point, they've really got it. They're hit together. Oh, I do love watching Nabatea though. And now, I mean, in fairness now, Nabatea is almost just fighting in choke points. And that's what Nabatea does well, even if he's attacking. Just hold the line. Rome is making some good pushes here with the Praetorians. What's he got more? He's got more veteran legionnaires here. But this is kind of it for Rome. Rome is looking pretty small. He's got about half a dozen sword units, but that might be enough. I don't know how much... I mean, Egypt's got a lot of Karanian Axemen, and that's not really going to do him any great uh, stuff. I mean, they've got the Pikes here for Nabatea, but he's not down... He's not got much left either. It's where the Bowie Eye, I think... I actually think it might come down to Bowie Eye, whether he can get any of these units back inside. I'd possibly run this Veteran Spear to the gate. I mean, it's not held by anyone, I don't think, so you could run it in. 
but it c kind of is defending this uh, ballista, which I'm guessing they really want to keep alive for the final stand, because I'm sure that's got ammo, and that one can move. Here comes another charge. Are they literally just going to keep throwing their stuff against it? Bowie Eye's not learnt. That's going to be a side-on charge here again from his sword followers. Oh, no, he's going to charge out. It's a bold, cha bold challenge. He's met them in the field, and I'm going to say Bowie Eye did not come out on top of that. But nice to see Sabas keeping his cavalry fresh. Uh, and then he sent them in, and then you can see another one there. Jeez, this is disgusting. That is horrifying. And there you go, that unit's routed. And now they're in, I'd say just stay in if I was Sab. Oh my gosh, this one as well. Look at the blob that they're, like, taking out. Sabah's going to have got loads of kills. He I think Sabah and Bowie I might take each other out, I think. Oh, we've got Javis coming in. That was devastating, actually. That was a good Javi throw from... Uh, didn't quite see it, but that was got a lot of these lancers and camels. But yeah, you can see now they can surround them. And Bowie Eye's in. Uh, Bowie Eye's fully committed. They've got veteran spears coming up desperately. General camel archers. Oh, we've got units breaking left, right, and center now for Bowie Eye. Lots of them breaking. Just keep sa uh, hammering anvil now with the cavalry. And camels... Look at them. The weird necks. Camels are so weird. They've got weird necks, weird humps. Never thought of it. They're really weird. Oh, another charge. More camels. Oh, look at that guy. How is he on his horse still? Oh, no, he's horse on his camel. He's almost falling off the back. Oh my gosh, these guys are surrounded. That's it. Bowie Eye's gone. Bowie Eye is gone. Wow. And Sabah's now left with an army of cavalry outside the walls because the defend uh, the attackers are in. Well, the general bodyguard for Rome's been focused down. You need to be careful of that. They've lost one general already. Can't afford to lose another. Yeah, Bowie Eye is gone. Shame. Yeah, you just got to form a shield wall here. I mean, I'd form shield wall on the rear of the uh, artillery. That's 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 not good. I thought Bowie I had it at one point. He had like so many troops left, but then he sent them all into this one blob, and they all died. Also, losing his general is a big no-no. Should not have allowed his general, his precious cav, to go out there and die on its own. But I mean, they're really pressing on in the attackers. They're nearly at this final defense, actually. But. They Battle's still got so much time, well not so much, it's got like nearly 20 minutes still in it, or over 20 minutes. I presume Sabah's going to come in and uh, help out with the attacks, or the uh, defenders, sorry. Stop the attackers, maybe get some rear charges, but I'm not really sure where he's going to be able to do that. Look at this Glacian Royal Guard, he's just doing his own thing. Oh, the Glacian Royal Guard's absolutely been destroyed, I don't know if it's the only one. No, it might be. Is this Pikes? That might be Pikes there. Looks like Egypt might have some pikes for the final defense, but I think uh, it's just mainly Egypt. Like, I think Numidia is spent. I think he's got his general left and maybe some small units of Numidian Royal Infantry. Royal Spears, whatever they're called. What are they called? Nob noble Infantry, not Royal. They're not They're not good enough to be Royal. How is Bowie I Okay, they have. They have now. Oh, the artillery's turned around. Not a bad idea. And it's going to go all the way around this way is the cav, and they're just going to go and... Pinned, uh, go and take out the R3. Real shame. Um, I mean, if these guys commit enough, Bowie I could go around and save his artillery. But that's not going to be the case. Sab, Sab is going to keep most of his cavalry here. He only needs to send one unit around. He can take out like all this Celtic boys sending around a small desert uh, heavy lancer. Not a bad idea. And there you go. Bowie Eye's gone. Uh, I do feel sorry for Bowie Eye. I don't think he did much wrong. I think maybe losing his general a bit early was possibly a big no-no, but I, there's not much you can do against Saba with that army. That is disgusting. And here we go. We've got Thorax Pikes, two units. You can't see the other one, but it has just disappeared but to hold this final uh, defense. And this is it. This is going to be what holds this final defense. And this is going to be really epic and really close. Uh, they need to get these ar capture these archers out, though, because uh, these Cretans could be huge. And capture as many of these gates so, yeah, Saba can't get back inside. Another big... Must at this point. Uh, I don't think there is any more. Oh, yeah, they're sending over something here. Past guard. I'd send over like maybe some archers or something. 
But yeah, capture this gate and then I think they've got them all. I think they've got all the gates. So Saber's stuck outside. Because they made no breaches, Saber uh, can't do much. Here we go, Mercedes going to go and actually commit because he realises what needs to happen. They need to hold this gate. Rome's not going to allow him though. Here we go, veteran legionnaires carry on fighting. More veterans he added to them. Praetorians going around. They're going to need those pikes though to fight. Hopefully those pikes are still alive so they can fight uh, the thorax pikes of Egypt with the uh, Nabataean ones. Because they're going to really need those guys. Really will. If they can get Mercedes General as well, that's not a bad idea. Actually might. If Rome surrounds him. Oh no, Egypt's going to send him more stuff. Egypt's going to actually throw away a Thorax Sword unit. That's a big risk. Thorax Sword's holding here against the Rakim Palace Guard. I'd say the Rakim's going to win that. Um, if I was the archer, start focusing on every pike when you can. These slingers probably have no ammo left. Got another Glacian Royal Guard here as well. Wow. Throw spears. Yeah, Saba's got like... Oh, and Bowie Eye is still alive. He's got veteran spears. He's going to get him back inside. Oh, I hope he does. Bowie Eye comes to fight for the final uh, the final battle. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, these pikes really need to get up. They're the only unit that's going to break through this final choke point. Along with the archers. But the archers seem to be insistent on firing at tribal slingers, not at thorax pikes, which is literally what is going to win this game. For the defenders or the attackers. They get rid of those pikes, and Navate keeps his alive. They're looking good. But Rome needs to start flanking. He could flank here. Uh, actually, no, maybe not. I think in prolonged melee, he should beat these guys. He's also captured this now. And he's got the tower. Yeah, they, they've... Yeah, they're in a bit of trouble here, these defenders. They're in quite a bit of trouble. I think Mercedes realised he's going to have to die here. He made an attempt to go for the gate and keep it alive for Saba, but... It's not going to happen. Oh, and they've got archers firing inside. I don't know how much ammo they've got left, but I beg that they save it for the uh, archers. They're also sending more Thor spears down. What a bold play. I respect that from the defenders. They're not just going to hide behind their pike lines. They're actually going to uh, come out and fight. I mean, I guess they realize that Saba can't get back in, maybe. You know, they just think, oh, the battle's done. Maybe he can. I don't think he can. He's going to have to dismount, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. So, Saba's not out of the game yet. His cavalry can dismount and get on these towers. Okay. So, he's not... He's just becoming infantry now. So, I think Bowie I might actually be able to deal with most of these uh, cavalry. Just with his infantry. Will be interesting. Did Rome dismount his generals? He did. What a mad... What a mad game this has been. That's why you play, uh, that's why you open gates up. He literally has captured so many gates as well, so that general bodyguard could have got in. And there we go, Mercedes, these generals about to rout. And the Romans are flanking on around. And there you go. Mercedes is gone. Dead. And what we've got up here now, we've got uh, Thorax Sword still losing decisively. They've got these Cretans. Oh, these could be huge. These Cretans need to rack up kills like never before. What well, they're focusing down. Auxiliary archers. I don't know if they've got ammo. Let's have a look. You know if they've got ammo, if they've got their swords out and they uh, they still have ammo. He's pulling back the pikes. Not a bad idea. Uh, don't send up your general Rome either. You've still got a lot of troops left. You don't want to have to lose them. I just surround this Thorax sword unit with the uh, with Romans. See if you can force the uh, thorax swords, uh, the thorax pike, sorry, to come out of their uh, little hidey hole. Capturing every tower they can, possibly it would seem. Not a bad idea. And also, since they can form testudo formation, it just makes it so easier to capture. But this archer tower just can't, can't focus down on them. Yep. Okay, we've got Bowie Eye inside. Oh, the uh, camels are breaking. Oh, it's because the arch tower has been captured. And they're just focusing down the saber every single time. And um, we are, they are capturing one here though. Not that we can see the units, we can just see them capturing it. I don't know how much ammo these Cretans have got, but they really need to start firing and quickly. There we go, the Archer Tower's taken. That could probably fire down, yeah, it can fire down these pikes. These pikes are compromised now. 
Oh dear. It is a bit of an issue here now. And there we go. Egypt's about to break. This is really close indeed. Very, very close. And here comes Saba. Oh no, Saba's over here still. Okay, he's actually breaking. He's breaking to arch towers. This is such an issue. He's going to recapture them. But what's he going to do? He's going to go back outside and go and get his cavalry? I don't really know. He's not got time to. Egypt's in a lot of trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. Hold the line for Egypt. For the Pharaoh. For the Pharaoh. You can do it. Oh. Love it when like a fire illuminates up an area for a small amount of time. Not so good when it kills someone. I like how the guys in these towers as well are just so easy persuaded. Like we've captured it outside. We either burn it or you change sides and start shooting other stuff. And they're like, okay, okay, we'll do it. And then they like, if someone else recaptures it. Yep, yeah, it's fine. We were always on your side. We never, we never betrayed you, ever. Yeah, these Rakeem Palace Guard actually on the offensive aren't doing so bad. I mean, they got Archer support, and, um, but these Thorax Swords, you know, they should really be beating them. Royal Peltas here for the General as well. They've got some pretty nasty units to finish off of uh, Egypt. But it's whether they've got ammo. If they've got ammo left as uh, Roman Navitaire, then they can focus these uh, Pikes out really quickly. Bowie, I, I think, should be left with the job of retake, uh, taking out Saba, because I mean it is his issue. They've decided to put their pikes here and defend. Not a bad idea. Saba's now kind of out of the game again. Um, if they've got ammo left with their jabbies, I'd start focusing these guys down as well. But I might just uh, fast forward a little bit, see whether either side does anything. See if there's any combat, because I have a feeling that the attackers might take a bit slower now. Now that there's pikes here. I'm really not... I'm very unsure, to be honest, what they're going to do. Yep. Okay, so here we go. So we just got the uh, defenders are just going to shoot every archer that comes forward with their accretions. In fairness, all they need to do is get the archer tower to keep focusing down these guys. And it'll keep killing one every so often. That's a long time, though. And here we go. Pikes coming up. Finally. Right. Oh, but we've got now Archer Fire coming on their pikes. It's just a risk you have to take. You've got to get the pikes in there. And uh, get them fighting against the Thorax pikes here. You might actually be able to get around here. I just realized, yeah. You could get around this gap here. And get around the pikes. It's only Thoros Spears as well holding the line here. Why haven't the attackers seen this? That's a very much more viable way. And they don't have to risk their pikes. And they've already lost so many pikes. Oh, they are losing men here, though. Losing some of their own. Just becoming a massive skirmish phase. Who's going to run out of ammo first? They're actually going to send in their Syrians just to die. I thought they were, then. But yeah, they could actually just get around here. Get up to, like, here. Go around this way. Rome's got some decent units. Could probably do the job. Veteran legionnaires. Triarii, certainly. Saba's not an issue. I know they keep... They're sending... They've got so many units back here. They don't need to worry about... Well, that's a full unit of Rakeem Palace Guard. Don't just keep that at the back. Like, these are cavalry as well, you got to remember. So they're not great on foot. Not great at all. But anyway, I'm going to fast forward again. And we're going to see if anything happens. It looks like it's just going to be Thorax Pikes being focused down. By a few small units of Syrians. If they break those Cretans, which they could. Oh, those Cretans could break those archers. That would be great. But yeah, it's, oh my gosh, this Thorax Pike unit is actually really getting focused down. You only need to take one out. You don't need to focus both down. One was one is enough. And then if the other one tries to move to like help in the other support, it's easy to take out them. Oh, there you go. Routing all of Rome's archers. One's fall, fallen back. Navitek got ammo left. He might. He's caught literally like four men in the unit. How many men in it? Yeah, not many. Then they're out of ammo. Big shame. Uh, ammo here, possibly? No, probably not. Oh, it's an issue. Yeah, see, just... Someone realised this is a viable way up. 
And now he's put Thoros Spears here, which is actually a good idea. We'll hold the line against those, uh, against those Thorax Pikes. They're actually s nearly dead already. Jeez. 39 of them left. That's a real, real issue. <laughs> I start pushing. 39 Pikes won't hold back all this stuff. And especially when they can get around the side here. He's just decided to put another unit into an area that probably didn't need defending. I think all he's got left now is his general, some Cretans, and some Galatians. I'm just really hoping to see what happens. Saba's still trying to cap stuff. And he's got his cavalry back in. He actually did go outside to get his cavalry, didn't he? Not all of it. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, no, not all of it, no. Just his general. His general still on horse. And that's a nasty unit on horse. No one else has got uh, cavalry left. But we've got Rakeem Palace Guard here ready. That's the general unit. And here we go. They're going in. They find the side. And they actually realized they did see Rakeem Palace Guard. They've gone around the side. The archers going around the side as well. Here we go. The final showdown. Rome needs to do the same. Don't bother about helping out the pike line here. Get around the side. Everything around the side. Let this unit just fight here. Just make sure there's one unit to keep an eye on it. Probably the pikes. And here we go. Rome Praetorians. This is a huge unit of Praetorians. It needs to get around and take out these Galatian Royal Guard. You need to support. Take those Galatians out so quickly. Oh, the pikes are going to probably break here. Those Thorax, though, again, the Royal, uh, the, the Palace, oh, no, they're not, they are Thorax, I do apologize. No, where are the, oh my god, did the, they broke. They broke those pikes, those Thorax pikes. And the other one's coming up now, surely those Cretans are, are out of ammo. Rome's falling back with his Praetorians, why? Why? Just send them in. Send them in. It's so close, could go either way. There's a huge gap now here, well, not huge, but there's a gap here. Um, these Thorax Pikes are moving. That's a big, big mistake there. Don't move Pikes when there's Pikes right in front of you. I guess he's giving them a clear line of sight. But now push up. Push up attackers. Push up here. And you can surround all of this stuff here. That's a big, big no-no for the uh, defenders. That room's got Triaria. He's got Praetorians. He's got more veterans over here. Get these guys up. Get the Pikes up. Surround these guys. It doesn't matter if they die. Get them out of Pike formation at this rate. Kill, just kill everything. Oh, I really want the attackers to win because they've done so well. They had such a hard start. Like, Bowie, I just got absolutely rinsed. I mean, I want the defenders do, to win as well. It would also be great. They had made some great tactics, tactical moves. I, either side wins. But it's just, it's infuriating to, I guess, sometimes to watch. And you just kind of look at a defense and you go, or like an attacker, and you just go, do this. And you're like, you've got to remember, Pope. This has been done a long time ago. They can't hear you. But it does look epic. Um, these pikes are messing up the Thoros Spears, though. They are not going to hold long. Those pikes need to get back in there. They're not going to hold there. These archers are out of ammo yet. No, they're not. Oh, my gosh. These guys are, still have ammo. That is huge. Those Cretan archers having ammo might be the might be the make or break. Saber's going to go in with his tiny units. <laughs> oh, he might get by here, though. He might get... Yeah, he's going to get by. He's going to get round. Oh, yeah, he's going to get around these Royal Camel Archers. Those Romans going to have to go down. Or the, yeah, yeah, send Bowie Eyes Spears back down. They'll deal with them. But these Rakeem Palace Guards surround them. These Galatian Royal Guards are surrounded and they're still not losing. Combat even. How? Um, the Pikes here. Just push into the side of these Pikes. Kill them. Even with uh, an, uh, an Arch unit or something. Just getting, oh, God. Sab is in and he's in deep. I think Rome's general might be dead. No, just casualties sustained. Lost another three men. Like this pike unit here, it's not even pike. Get these palace guard back. Get the general in here now. Saba's not an issue now. He's inside the lines. Just push for the final final stage. Take Egypt out, it's done. Oh, good to see Chari now surrounding the pikes here. That is huge. That's huge. That might be good night, Vienna, for those pikes. But then we've got the pikes here that are about to get surrounded by the camels. I mean, they're kind of done. They're also not really doing anything. They're also charging into more pikes than dying. Cretan archers getting sent in. They're out of ammo. That is big as well. Egypt is literally throwing everything against uh, Rome now. It's mainly Rome. Bit of Nabatea, but left. But Nabatea has still got like units here. Oh, he's actually got his cavalry. 
He's actually gone out and got his horses. Like, they're not defending these choke points, like, at all. You've got to actually fully make them. Nabate, uh, Sabre's going to get through. Nabate is uh, letting the team down a little bit there. I'm sorry. I know Nabate is the one that sent it in, but, like, they are not defending the choke points. He's Palace Guard. They're going to catch some, but not many. Like, he's caught one. Like, these guys, you need to get them up. They won't act... Yeah, you have to break formation, because that formation you make as well also is... Uh... Yeah, you're going to have to defend Rome's general. Rome is actually doing all the work here. Bowie Eye is about to break fully. Royal Peltas. These Glacian Royal Guard are winning. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Thorax Pikes keep going winning or not winning. Veteran Legionnaires in here now. This is huge. I'd say try and cap the point. Oh my gosh, and here comes Sabah. Those goddamn camels. With their weird necks. And there you go. Rome's lost all his stuff here. Nabate's got to send everything in. It's got to go. It's got to go. Rome might need to get his general up here just to pop some uh, morale stuff. I don't know if his general... Yeah, his general's still not dead. If uh, that Tiara I can form square, might be a good time to do that as well. The pikes are coming down. Yeah, they're not going to get in formation in time. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, they're going to try and fall back and they're going to die for it. And now the Glacians. I think the Glacians might do it. Sabre also as well. I don't know where... Did Sabre just cap... Yeah, he capped a, a gate, didn't he? And that's all it took. Yeah, oh, there you go. Rome's chain route in. Oh my gosh, it's coming down to Nabate. I don't think nabate has got enough. What a battle, though. What a battle. It's actually going to come down to a few units. That pike unit is still alive. Like with this... Oh no, he's, he's literally fighting archers. He needs to really quickly mop up these archers. And then punch a hole through. And then he can get around. I think Saba's gone. Oh no, Saba's still got cavalry up here. Goddamn Saba. Always got a few more cavalry. He just keeps capping the point. Making sure they still hold it. These are some strong units of Palace Guard. They might do. They might be enough. Certainly not this one though. It's fighting pikes. 19 of them. And the cavalry's so tired now. That it's uh, probably not doing great charges. There's so few in number. They're just going to punch a hole through these uh, Mercenary Korean archers. Yeah. No no chance of uh, success here. Nabate. I think if he sent these spears up a lot earlier though when supported Rome. When he was like... It was obvious that he wasn't holding the line against Saba. Like they were just sneaking on round. He could have... They could have won this a little bit earlier possibly. I don't know if they've... I don't think they've still won it yet. I think it's still very much up in the air. Glacier's still... Not Glacier, there's a Glacier Royal Guard left. They are losing decisively now, though. They are very tired. He needs to get his general back. Pull the general back uh, from these Royal Pel like these Royal Pikemen. They're not royal at all. Um, Thorax Pikes. Oh, it's now even now. Yeah, when the Pikes leave, that's it. And the cavalry keeps harassing. This They just keep slowing down this other support unit. But they're losing here. Oh, it's so close. And the Arch Tower, I'm sure, is helping in the back. Just keeps firing down and killing a couple of Glacians here and there. Forever loyal indeed. Royal Peltas losing. Royal Peltas are losing. They were, they were for a moment. They're back to normal now. Come on, just punch through this Galatian Royal Guard. This is what they do well, though. They hold to the last, and they keep killing and killing more still. Oh, he got shot in the face, though. Taken down. And here we go. I think they're broken. They're finally gone. I think uh, I, I think that's fine. 11 left. Just get on surround. Surround these guys. And what a fight. I think this might be enough. If Sabah's got cavalry, I don't know if Sabah's general's still alive, but if he is, then I'll be very infuriated. <laughs> Just like, come on, just die already, Saba. You've done enough damage here. And there we go. Surrounding Egypt's general. The pikes. Oh, the pikes, though. They could surround Nabatea's general. This is actually insane. How close is it still? 
This general's losing somehow. Pop some rallies, man. Losing, I guess, because the rear's available and vulnerable. Pikes is tapping away, stabbing away. This is insane. I, I actually don't know who's going to win. I think the pike flank's pretty pretty big. Um, but then the flank on the general... Oh, the pikes are breaking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. The pikes are gone. General's losing decisively or losing now. That's it. I'm going to say that's that's got to be it, surely. Surely this Royal Peltas can't break two units. I mean, this Arch Tower here is firing. That could help. But, I mean, they've got one here of their own firing. And there we go. That is one of the closest fights I've ever seen. That is insanely close. I just like a thanker. Navate for sending in. I, it's actually the reason. He's actually the one that's gone on and won it. No wonder he sent it in. He's actually going to win it, I think, for his side. Oh. These poor, poor Royal Peltas. They nearly had it. I actually thought they might have had it at some points in this defense, the defenders. Especially over here when this Rome just chain rounded. But these arch towers, I think I have the reason why they're helping. They're uh, going to just pop a rally, use the whip, trying to form a shield wall. Shield wall is probably not the best thing to hold Duna right now. They work, they'll try and form it and then they're just even more upset because they're being attacked in the rear. And there you go. That's them routing, wavering. There's literally seconds left in this game. And there you go. We have a victory, a costly victory indeed for the attackers. What a game. Um, so that was sent in by Reese Pato, who was playing as Navater. Um, well, a quick look at his stats. I mean, he's got 219. There was uh, Navate and Thorax Pikes. That's pretty damn good. Uh, his Navate and Heavy Archers also getting 135. It's not bad. His uh, King Palace Guard, um, they're getting 174. That's probably the best. Another thing else really did great for him is uh, Noble Swords just weren't worth bringing at all. Or his Axes. He had a really tough time. Apart from that, he did okay. Uh, Commander Fat Barber, uh, who's playing as Bow Eye, uh, a really rough time for him. Um... None of his units, I mean, 92, I think, is the best out of any of his units. Yeah, he had a really hard time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, poor guy. Really poor guy. I mean, yeah, only 800 kills, the worst out of anyone. But, um, yeah, unfortunate for him. Then I will win. He did indeed win. Uh, Rome, who really carried his attacking side, um, getting over 2,000 kills. His best being his uh, veteran legionnaires, 263, and his uh, armored legionnaires getting 132. And his Triara getting 130, uh, 137. And his Praetorian Guard, 241 kills. Excellent. Grim Guardian, who is playing a Sabo. An interesting tactic and nearly paid off. His Royal Camel Archers is general 240 kills. Insanely good. Um, another one getting 171. And then his uh, Marib Camel Cataphrax. Probably the other one that did really well, 175. His Levy only getting 25. Bless them. Gully Boy, who was playing his Egypt, nearly pulled it off. Nearly pulled off the impossible. A Galatian Royal Guard. Uh, 100 and 233, sorry, uh, 166 and 190, uh, well, actually all of his Korean archers did insanely well, all getting over 100 kills, nearly 200 with that one. Crying Axman, interesting choice, 74 kills the best, um, they're okay, are holding choke points for a bit, but they get outnumbered, so, uh, overwhelmed certainly by Rome. His pikes, not doing very well, but they did get focused down, and his, uh, Thorax swords did okay, 135 is pretty standard for them, and his general 180. Then we have Rolfer, who's playing as Mercedesly. Uh, 100 kills for his Numidian Noble Infantry. Uh, one of his best, actually. And then his uh, Desert Cohort only getting 187, actually. And 177 aren't bad at all. Um, but yeah, he... I mean, and his Slingers didn't do that great. But yeah, that was a very, very good battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stuck around to the end to see what happened. If you did, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment uh, to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.